I've mentioned before on this channel that I retired this past January and now we are at the end of March and this is our first major um, cross-country trip and I just wanted to show you what I have done um, to plan for this trip. You can see this binder and um, within the binder I have tabbed all of our stops that contains all of our reservations um, and just a, a pretty much a year long worth of planning is in this book. Um, you know, we had to make reservations for most of our sites a, a year in advance. Some uh, would only take six months in advance, but we're trying to stay as organized as we possibly can. Um, and, and this is what it took to, to plan this trip. We've got all the best sites at the, at the, um, at the national parks, um, great sites at the state parks. We are boondocking in, I don't know, three or four different sites where we couldn't make reservations, but we've got the GPS coordinates. We know exactly where we're going and we have um, plan B and even plan C in most cases. So I think we're prepared. I hope we're prepared. Roosevelt State Park arrived. Well, baby, go take care of it. We are at Roosevelt State Park Campground in Mississippi, and site number 46. We pulled in a few hours ago. We had tuna salad for dinner, and we're gonna have a nice, relaxing night. We're here for two days, and uh, it's, a, it's a nice park. We've got a pretty good spot. Oh, that's a nice spot down here. That's site 60. They've got a nice water view, waterfront site. Is that a water slide over there? It sure is. Wow. That's a big water slide. This really is a pretty park. Yeah. And the drive from Blackwater River State Park to Roosevelt State Park. It was a gorgeous drive, about 260 miles, right? Just a beautiful drive. Pretty good size little hill here. Nice view of the campground. There's the restroom facility. It is Saturday night and this campground is full, very full. It's so nice, relaxing in the camper, catching up on some of my favorite shows. Taking it slow, getting to Utah. I know you have access to certain kinds of information. It's Sunday morning. Uh, we're at Roosevelt State Park in Mississippi. We've had pancakes and sausage for breakfast. Uh, Fred's on a little hike right now and uh, hope to do some hiking here. We're here all day. We'll be leaving in the morning. So this is a two night um, stay for us on our trek to Utah. I'm going to do as much filming as I possibly can and show you all of the stops that we're making on our way to Utah. I believe we have about 18 stops altogether. So 18 different sites. Um, it, it should be a fantastic trip. We're, we're going to be gone for six weeks. But this is Roosevelt State Park, like I said, in Mississippi. It's a beautiful park, about 130 sites. Uh, the pads are all paved, the roads are paved, very nice bathroom facility, a beautiful office. They have a, some kind of a big slide, uh, a, a boat launch. Um, the, the sites are pretty close together and there's not a whole lot of privacy but it, it's still a beautiful park and it, you know, you have your site set up right, um, you, you, you'll get the privacy that you're looking for. There's water, sewer, and electricity at each site. Yesterday, our electric service wasn't working very well. It had a little short and I called the office and they had someone here in 10 minutes and they fixed it. So that's, um, they're very responsive here. You know, one, one thing to be aware of with these sites, especially the sites that are adjacent to the water, there's a pretty steep drop off. Um, you know, if you were the least little bit handicapped, you're gonna have a little trouble with this. And you can see the concrete here is, um, I don't know, probably about a seven inch fall. And that 
goes all the way around. So when you come out of your camper, you know, you've got a little bit of a step there. And when you're when you're walking down these embankments, I don't know if the camera picks up the slope here, but these pine needles can get pretty slippery under your feet. So you do have to be careful. Site 46. That's us. And this is Site 47. And this is 49. You can see what I was talking about with these drop offs. Certainly you could be careful when you're backing your camper up in there. That's 49. I'm walking my two little dogs. This is site 50. And this is site 52. Sunday afternoon and the park has really cleared out. This is site 54. This is site 56. This is site 57. Oh look, they have chapel services here. Sunday's at 8.30. How oh, nice. Check this out. Well, if I, had I seen this on someone else's video, I would have known about it. But I guess on Sunday mornings, oh, well, it's from Easter, so it doesn't start until April. But look at this. How beautiful. What a beautiful little church service that would be. We are standing on site 58. So if you had Site 58, you might have a church service right here next to you on Sunday morning. But that would be okay. This is Site 60. Site 60 is right next to the beach. Here's a little honorable mention site. This is Site 77. So it's not on the water, right? But it has a great view. Right now they have their eyes on a couple of squirrels. Come on girls. I think there's half a dozen squirrels out there that I, I see right now. It's a beautiful day and I am going for a little bike ride to see what I can see. There's a nice little playground for children. Now this is some sort of conference room. When we pulled in yesterday, there were quite a few people here. Here's the trailhead for Lakeview Trail. It's on the same road that the office is on. And that's where I'm headed now. 
All right, so I found Muscadine Trail, and I believe that you have to access the Muscadine Trail to get to the Civil War Hill Trail. So you can see this is the little check-in booth that when we've been here was not manned, and it doesn't look like it's manned now. Right there is the trailhead for the Muscadine Trail. And then this way is uh, where you uh, can access the office where you check in. It says there's a pool and water slide, boat launch. We're staying at the CCC campground. I guess there's a primitive campground as well. We should be doing that Muscadine Trail and Civil War Hill Trail as soon as I get back from this bike ride. There are rooms right there. It looks like a, a little hotel. It's, it's called a lodge. It's quite nice. It's on the water. The camp store is not open. Not too bad for a campground office. They even have a game room. I see the slide over here. I believe there's a swimming pool over there as well. Okay, so it is a motel. Looks like they have, I don't know, about 20 rooms. And it looks like they're around $72 to $82 a night. Not too bad. I'm not sure what that is up there. It looks like a tennis court or a basketball court. They certainly have this set up for large group functions. That's the new Mississippi state flag. The Mississippi took the Confederate flag out of their design. This is a very pretty park. Nicely maintained. Here's a little bit better view of that motel. Not bad for $70 to $80 a night. Okay, so that, that was tennis courts. And then up here, they have a little baseball field. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the Civil War Hill Trail. It's a little over two miles and I have this cane that my father made for me. He's so handy. Fred wants me to spin around so you can see my backpack. I'm ready to go. I have the little walkie talkies and Fred's gonna stay here and wait for me with the dogs. And What's your call sign on the radio? It's uh, on the walkie talkies? Yes. It's um, Wonder Woman. All right, all right, you're good to go. So I am at the other end of the Muscadine Trail from what I showed you a few minutes ago when I was riding my bike. This. Um, trailhead is behind the office and we have to access the Muscadine Trail to get to the Civil War Hill Trail. I put the Civil War Hill Trail on my All Trails map and that should help me uh, to stay on course and not get lost. You can see the trail is very well marked. The blue blazes. That little creek leads to Shadow Lake. This is the back side of it, I guess. Really feel like you're back in the woods here. 
little bit of elevation on this trail. And these leaves and pine needles can be pretty slippery. This pole that my dad made me is certainly coming in handy. Thank you, Dad. That was so sweet of you to give me this hiking stick. Really comes in handy. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a muddy crossing here. Oh, I just need to stay on these sticks. Wow, this little pole again. Ah. Let's see. I think I can get across here like this. Like that. Okay. Huh. Hopefully that was the worst of it. Do you copy Wonder Woman? <laughs> yes, I'm doing fine. Just moving right along. Dead four. Did you copy? Yeah, I just found my first snake. What you do with it? Well, I'm videoing it right now. I'm not sure. It's black. It, I mean, it kind of looks like a copperhead, but its head doesn't look triangulated. It looks kind of small. Is it a big snake? No, it's kind of long and skinny. Thomas, have you found the other trail yet? I would dare say that this is the top of the hill. <laughs> That's, that's in the trail name. You can see the little drop off right there. And a pretty good incline going down. Wonder Woman, have you been attacked by the snake? It's gone. I'm still walking, baby. Ted 4, you're starting to break up a little bit. Must be getting pretty far away from it. So we'll keep in touch best we can. Well, I'm still hiking. You know, this trail is about two and a half miles long. It, it makes a big loop. And so at one point, I'm over a mile back in these woods all by myself. It's kind of a strange feeling. I think I'll sit for just a second, take a little rest. Okay, so I just passed the Civil War Hill Trail sign. And now I'm back on the Muscadine Trail, which is the Yellow Blazes. So I'm almost back to the truck where Fred and the two little puppies are waiting for me. Fred and I are taking turns doing that Civil War Hill Trail. It's a little bit too much back in the woods. A little bit, uh, we're, we're concerned about ticks. We've been told by the ranger that they do have a problem with ticks here. And you can see them on Lucy. She's a white dog, but Lily, she's a dark colored dog and you can't see the ticks on her. So we don't want to take a chance. But while Fred is doing that, I was going to see if I could make it down to the water right here. Looks very pretty. Let's see what we can do. Lily, come. So they are doing some work on the side of this shadow lake and they have it drained down. So this, ooh, and it smells. I don't like it here. This is the bottom of the lake right here that has been drained. And it does have an odor. Come on. Dogs seem to like it.
It's kind of neat to walk on the lake bed. Hey, 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 get back here, get back here. I think it's gonna get too muddy out there. But it's pretty. I think we've gone far enough. Okay, girls. Yeah, you know, it's probably gonna be easier to get back through this way. All the little, all the little shells. Pretty cool. So while we took turns uh, doing the Civil War Trail, which the trailhead is just right here, we parked in this Site 29. And you know, this is really a beautiful site. It overlooks the water on this direction. Then you've got this beautiful little dirt road and then the water's over here as well. So this, and then the, behind you, you've got this little island where, you know, no one is going to be. And you're so close to the Civil War Hill Trail. This site could potentially be my favorite site that I've seen out here, Site 29. So for dinner tonight on our Blackstone, we grilled some chicken breasts and we have some Cracker Barrel macaroni and cheese. And I put the carrots in the pressure cooker. Please be sure you stay tuned to our channel and keep up with our um, future um, new videos that we are releasing. And we're gonna show you each of these sites and, and all the great things that we hope to see on this trip.